Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Today we're going to take a look at performing a critical path analysis in Primavera P6. Critical path method is the process of calculating the critical activities in a project schedule. That is, a technique used to discover the activities that cannot afford to slip because they will impact the end date of the project. Having entered all the relationships for our new home construction project, we are ready to perform a critical path analysis on our schedule. We need to do this in order to calculate the planned finish date for the project. Before we do that, however, Let's take a look at a simple critical path model and learn how P6 calculates the dates for the project schedule. In this model, you see four nodes that represent activities in a simple network. At this point, there are no dates, just durations and relationships, much like our new home construction project. The first step is to perform a forward pass through the network, which will generate the early dates for each activity. An early date is simply the earliest date on which the activity can start, based on its relationship to other activities. Starting on day one, and assuming every day is a working day, activity A1010 has an early start date of one. The activity is 10 days long, so the early finish date will be 10. That's day one plus the duration 10 minus one. Next, we follow the relationships and see that activity A1010 has two successors, A1020 and A1030. Let's start with activity A1020. Its early start date is day 11, because that is the next working day after A1010 finishes. It has a two-day duration, so it will finish at the end of day 12. That's day 11 plus two days duration minus one. Next, we look at A1030. This will also get an early start date of day 11. It has a five day duration, and so will have an early finish date of day 15. Now let's look at A1040. This one is interesting because it cannot start until both A1020 and A1030 finish. Its early start date must therefore be 16, because we always take the later date on the forward pass. The latest early finish date of its two predecessors is day 15. With activity A1040's five day duration, it will have an early finish date of day 20. This completes the forward pass and has calculated all the early dates for the activities. Next, we perform a backward pass. This will calculate the latest dates that activities can start and finish before they impact their successors. Starting this time with activity A1040, we know that the late finish date will be day 20. We then subtract the five day duration and then add one to get the late start date of day 16. Now look at A1020. Its late date is day 15, because that is the prior working day from day 16. Now we subtract two days duration from 15 and then add one to get a late start date of day 14. Activity A1030 also has a late finish date of day 15, minus the duration, plus one to get a late start date of day 11. And finally, Activity A1010 also has a late start and late finish date equal to its early dates. This completes the backward pass. What we've learned from this forward and backward pass is that activity A1020 can start as early as day 11 or as late as day 14 without impacting its successor. That is to say, the activity has float. Float is the delta between the early and late dates for an activity. Activity A1020 has three days delta between its early and late dates. In other words, it can slip its start date by as many as three days before it impacts its successor. Activities that do not have float cannot slip by even one day without affecting the project end date 
and are therefore considered critical. This type of calculation is known as critical path method or CPM. It reveals the critical path through the network and alerts project managers to the activities that will need the most management if the project is to be completed on the planned finish date. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.